everyone welcome back to another video today i am building in the nether in a brand new style for me i wanted to design a village for the new mob the piglins that are being added in minecraft 1.16 so i loaded up the snapshots and got to work building this orc styled village i'm very excited to show you let's go see it I'm beginning this build pretty much like I do every other one, picking out the colors that I want to use and kind of laying out this entire area with my plan. Before I do my plan, however, I do want to really solidify the style that I'm working in. I'm using an orc style this time, using a lot of art from World of Warcraft to sort of inspire me along this project since I don't build in this style a whole lot. I'm gonna try and go for these round structures here. and. Uh, this is uh, not something I'm very good at. <laughs> I normally build the usual rectangle with a triangle on top sort of houses. These houses are going to have a lot of parts jutting out of them, bones coming out of the ground and out of the roof, and a bright red accent on top. I'm really excited to see how this style comes out. I also think somewhere along here I would like to have a path, maybe leading to a portal or sort of little fortress back here for these lovely piglins who are busy at work terrorizing the hoglins. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think something that would make this extra epic is to have some places where we have bones like jutting up out of the ground and we can probably kind of curve these. Let me see what I can make work here. Like if we have it come up like this and then really curve it in, that might be a little bit too big, but you get what I'm saying, right? We have these big curves on either side coming up and you have to sort of walk through them as you walk through this little village. I think that would really help and it's almost like the piglins have harvested some of these bones from the soul sand valley uh, to build their structures out of i think that makes a lot of sense so i'm gonna start building on that and i'll check in with you guys in a little bit okay so at this point in the build i've really fleshed out my idea this is the exact style that i would like to go for but I don't want to trick you guys into thinking that this was easy to come to. It certainly wasn't, and it required a lot of trial and error. Let me show you some of my errors. This, my friends, is my very first world that I started when I was thinking about this theme. I was streaming this world, and I didn't get a whole lot done. You can see some towers here that are a little bit of orc thrown in. There's some soul fire, which shouldn't be there because of the behavior of the piglins. But in general, you know, this is not exactly what I was going for. You can see the bone archways here that I decided I wanted to do. I kind of fleshed out there. And then just sort of this regular house here. This design was the first one that I was happy with and decided to settle on and move into the next world. My next world is where things really get interesting. You can see this same exact house idea, but now I've fleshed it out even more, adding some banners hanging off of it, a doorway, and just in general trying to make this look good. But this is the way that I always build. I always do these sort of rectangles with triangles on top and little spiked roofs. This isn't really super out of my style. I've added some things that look like they belong in the orc theme, but at the end of the day, this build is really cluttered and it's still not far enough out of my comfort zone to really look anything other than medieval with some weird bone details. So. That's how I got to where I am now. And I am really happy with where I am right now with this build. I think this makes a lot more sense with the style, the mixture of using the bone block and using the quartz. The only thing I'm a little disappointed with is that I did end up having to use wood in the palette, which obviously it's fine for me and creative, but if you did want to recreate this in survival, you'd have to have fire tick off. The reason I went for this, you could, I mean, you could also do the nether brick, but I need something that had a stair or a slab that was dark enough. And as you can see in here, there's like three options that are kind of dark. All of the grays sort of have that same tone. We don't have a super dark gray. So dark oak wood ended up being what I settled for. And I do think that it looks really lovely in this style. Just a little bit disappointed about the fire. Now that I've got this theme all worked out, all I need to do is keep repeating it along here. I need to flesh out everything that I want. Like I know that I want a bone path maybe starting here and coming all the way up into here. Then around here, I would love to have a big portal of some sorts, maybe circular with bones around it would look really lovely. I would love to do a lot more of these little huts around and maybe an area for the hoglins as well, since uh, those interact with these piglins quite a lot. And maybe a gold forging area would also work really well. 
I'm gonna get to work fleshing out those ideas now that I've shown you some more of my process and I'll bring you back when I get some more done. I am finally at the point in this build where the style is coming to me very, very easily. At this point, I'm just putting up a bunch of these round houses in various places at various size with slightly different variations to each one. This gives a lot of variety while keeping the style consistent throughout this small orc village. I want to show you kind of what I'm doing with these roofs because it's honestly a lot of fun to add these little bone details throughout. Basically all I'm doing is sprinkling in these lovely little areas with quartz wherever I can and I'm using the composter block to actually kind of connect these bones together in some places and make it look like they're tied down with rope. You can see it done here as well as on the portal over here. Pretty much anywhere where I have a bone, I'm finding this block looks super good because in any concept art that I find where anyone has done this style, there's always ropes and that's a hard look to get in Minecraft because the fences are just a little bit too large. I think the texture of the composter works wonders. On a roof like this, I try to jut these bones out a little bit more than I normally would. And once I have them all up at the top here, I don't want to have this sort of awkward connection. So in order to get around this, once I've built them all out, then I kind of come up here and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build up the corners with another layer and I'll put some wooden details up there, just like right here. Kind of tops off the house really nicely. I've been really enjoying doing that. And of course I'll fill it in with some of that mushroom block and just like so, go all the way around and simply fill it in with slabs. The process at this point is just repeating itself and it makes it really relaxing to build. I'm glad that I finally settled into the style. It's always satisfying to get to that point. Hello, little guy. <laughs> do you approve of your village? It's time for me to get back to work. I think I'd like to do a little trading area over here to add in some functionality to their gold and also maybe just a few more details, lanterns along the path, maybe some lava rivers, simple details like that to really bring this entire build to life. I can't wait to show you the final result. Everyone, the build is finally complete. This was so much fun to build. It's a lot of fun working in these darker styles that I don't normally touch on in my regular building. Building these bone structures coming out of the ground in this very red area with these particles flying through the air. Oh, it's there's these tiny little atmospheric details make such a big difference to a biome. This area where I'm starting has a big cauldron on a big thick bone with a basalt pillar next to it. I wanted this to be an area with some bones laying around, a little bit of blood, a bit gruesome, but this is where they would basically cook their food, whether that's hoglins or maybe something else that they find crawling around the nether. Continuing on from here, we've got a path going in a few different directions to little huts in various different areas. The soul soil brings us up towards some of the more epic huts. This one over here is one that I focus an interior on. I tried to keep the interior very messy. A little fireplace, lots of skull details, hanging herbs and meat from the ceiling. Uh, definitely a style that I don't normally touch on, but I feel like these piglins really would be pretty messy creatures, so having the interior mirror that was really important. Also, I discovered in my recent stream that smithing tables make really good floor, as well as really good ceilings. Just, I mean, I've never thought to look at the bottom of a smithing table. I love the view from around here. The nether is so much more epic now, with the different vines hanging down. It's 
A really stark contrast from what we used to have with just the glowstone around and the normal lava. Speaking of lava, I've actually used one of these pillars of lava hanging down from the ceiling to my advantage over here, and I've placed one myself in the exact place that I want it into this sort of forge area. I wanted an area for them to be able to smelt gold and create their weapons and armor that they oh so love, although I'm sure they are quite able to get it themselves when they need. <laughs> oh my gosh, a gruesome hunt is going on over here. This is just unfair. Speaking of unfair, I have actually penned up a few of these hoglins for them, but I feel like it just makes sense. Like, this is not a nice species at all in the game. They're, they're gonna pen things up. They're not gonna care a lot about anything that's going on around them. So I think it made sense. Of course, because they have the bartering system, I did want to have a place for them to be able to do that. So I set up a few of these lovely tents around this whole area with some gold in it. And I would be able to come in here and barter with people or scam them as they're coming along. Anyways, back to this forge I was just speaking of. In through this door here as we enter, we have this place where the lava is coming down through and being solidified into the gold blocks. And this is where they would get the majority of their gold and work it into their armor or weapons of their choice. And of course, we can come through this little tent over here as well where they can sell more stuff. I've used this to my advantage as well to be able to make this cute little bridge. I had this terrain when I first spawned here was pretty plain. It didn't even have a whole lot of these nether wart areas on it. So I wanted to dress it up a little bit and adding my own lava river really worked out. It's very similar to something that I would do in the overworld, just simply adding some terrain variation, but surprisingly works very well. And it does work even better because of course I did turn off the fire ticks so that I could use wood. I kind of found myself really needing to do this because of the fact that there aren't that much color variety in the darker tones of stairs and slabs. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this world tour and kind of seeing the process of it coming together. Um, my thought process on builds like this is always one that is a little bit scattered, but it was so much fun to learn and experiment in a brand new style. Thank you to everyone who gave me advice on my way to figuring out how to build orc buildings. I very much appreciate all the advice in my Twitch as well as in my Discord. You guys are awesome. As always, thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more content like this. Thank you so much for supporting me and I hope I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye everyone!